Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can turn your PowerPoint presentation into a movie file that you can share on YouTube. Um, you're going to start here and save your PowerPoint presentation as a JPEG format. Uh, each slide is going to be a JPEG image. And you'll see here that I ask for every slide. Now let's open Windows Movie Maker. This version of Windows Movie Maker is for XP. Uh, we need to import our slides, our graphics, our JPEGs, and we're going to select all of these. I'm holding the shift key while I click on each one. We have now imported all of these graphics and we can click and drag them into our timeline. As you can see, we can easily expand the time in which a graphic is displayed by clicking and dragging, and we can set the order which we want these slides to appear in our timeline. This is the narration button. We're going to go ahead here and click on narrate. Make sure you have your microphone turned on in order to narrate your slide. And we are recording. Once you're done, you hit stop and it'll prompt you for the name of your audio file. You can move your audio file as you wish. Or you can delete it if you want to start over. Even though we deleted the narration file in our timeline, Windows Movie Maker still holds onto that file. And we're going to demonstrate that here. We'll try to name it the exact same file. and it won't allow you to do that. So we're going to have to come up with a new name for this narration file. Now we can adjust our slide to however long we have our narration. And notice that you have to kind of be on the slide in order to get it to start going again. So we record our narration sound file. And you can keep going over multiple slides if you'd like. You hit your stop. And you name your file. And you see it appears down below. Now if you need to make your slide appear longer, you just click and drag. Now we're going to do something a little different. We're going to add some transitions between our slides. It'll make for a more interesting slideshow. And we'll use this dissolve here. And you're going to see me click and drag it in between the slides. And you'll see the slides move slightly so that the transition shows up in the rendering process. And we're going to go back to our collections. And there you can see all of our narration files. We're going to do our render. So we're going to go to our save movie. And we're going to name our file. And you'll be able to find your video file within your My Videos folder once it's done rendering. Your video file is now done, and you'll be able to find it in your My Documents folder under Videos. It's a good idea to review any video you create before you share it or upload it. I hope this information was helpful to you.